You already know. De dos en dos, de dos en dos. Every day we we elevate. Every night we do it right. And if you've been doing it right, your future is bright. Laughing is not only the simplest, most effective way to raise your frequency, but it's also, is and always will be the best medicine. When you smile, you allow consciousness to run freely through you. Allow the universal river of abundance to run naturally forward. Marilyn Monroe, you heard about her? She has something to say about laughing that caught my attention. Um, I actually read it in, in, in a magazine. This is what she said. She said, if you can make a woman laugh, you can make her do anything. That's what she said. Don't, don't stop laughing now. Don't stop laughing now, ladies. Come on. I'm only here to make your day. Thank you, universe. For raising my vibration at night. For my passion, my drive, and my determination. Thank you for my ability to create. If you're not grateful for your ability to create, one day you're gonna wake up. Oh shit, what am I? What time is it? And you're not gonna have anything to say. The greatest gift you can receive is another day of life. Your life is God's gift to you. What you do with it is your gift back to God, back to source, back to the creator. How you feeling? How you feeling? How you feeling? I'm, I'm gonna tell you how I'm feeling. I'm gonna tell you how I'm feeling. Because... Because... It's a very strange world we're living in. It's a very strange world we're living in. But all you gotta do to see the truth is go within... Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Mm, no, we're not. And as a matter of fact, you see, life, <laughs> first of all, life is not a competition, right? Life is a collaboration, okay? And life is not only a marathon, <laughs> life is a never ending journey. So, what is the rush, okay? What is the rush? What is the rush? Where are you, where are you heading, okay? You, life is a never ending journey, so you better learn how to be present in the present moment, which is the only reality that exists, okay? And by you simply being grateful, that anchors you to the, that anchors you to the present moment. And 
not only anchors you to the present moment, it puts you in a state of abundance and allows you to see your blessings, right? Just by being grateful. That's it. Gratitude is appreciation. And appreciation is love. Love is the highest frequency. Love is the substance behind every creation. This video is being created out of love, right? The, uni the, the, <laughs> the universe. The energy that I'm using to create this video is called love, gratitude, right? As long as you're grateful, you will have more energy to continue doing whatever it is that you gotta do, but you gotta be grateful for it, right? You gotta be grateful for what you have. And you will realize that you got more shit that you need. <laughs> because when you love what you have, you got everything you need. Okay, you are it, you are the prize, you are the missing piece to the puzzle. It's you, okay, it's you. It's you you're looking for. It's you you're looking for. Because without you, nothing works. Without you, nothing works. So prioritize yourself. And by you prioritizing yourself, you are prioritizing everything else. How about that? Anyhow, moving on. Uh, let's see what we got going on over here. Uh, all right, check it out. So, sacred geometry, sacred geometry is the language of the universe, okay? And in ancient times, Sacred geometry developed as an academic art that study the philosophical practices of mathematics, numbers, music, geometry, which are shapes and angles, and astrology, okay? So the way the universe communicates with us is through sacred geometry, right? And sacred geometry is a language that speaks directly to the heart. I don't remember who said it was a Plato or Aristotle. Well, Aristotle was Plato's student, but one of them said, educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. It's a waste of time. <laughs> so, um, where was I? <laughs> educating the heart. Oh, educating the heart. So, sacred geometry is a language that speaks directly to the heart, okay? Because compassion, compassion is a very sophisticated emotional achievement that opens your body and connects you to the cosmos in a profound spiritual level, okay? Love is the connection to everything around you in the whole entire universe, okay? Love is, <laughs> love is, okay? Love is the connection. I love is a connection because where there is love, there can be anything else, okay? It's a frequency, right? Like, like in your radio, it's a frequency. That is the frequency. So, <laughs> I took some notes over here because I didn't want to miss a thing. So today or tonight is 10-24-2022, okay? It's like around 9.30 uh, Eastern time over here in, 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 in Miami uh, at the time that I'm recording this video. Uh, but today is the last day of the lunar cycle, okay? Which means that tomorrow we will usually have a new moon uh, but we're gonna have a solar eclipse instead okay the Sun moved to the Sun of Scorpio two days ago which is the a house which is ruled by Pluto and Mars and tomorrow we will have a solar eclipse in the sign of Scorpio which is the most intense sign of the zodiac okay it's a water sign ruled by Pluto and Mars. Mars is the planet of drive, energy, determination, passion. And Pluto is the planet of transformation, change, 
growth. Imagine that. <laughs> now, a, a, a solar eclipse occurs when the moon gets in between the sun and the planet, right? So the sun symbolizes your higher self, right? Vitality. And the moon is your true self, your intuition. So tomorrow the moon is going to be right in between the sun and the planet, right? So which means that your true self is going to be completely illuminated, 100% exposed, okay? Because, I mean, the light of the sun is going to shine directly onto the moon, right? Which is your true self. So expect a lot of... Expect a lot of... <laughs> How can I say? Hmm. I truly believe it's going to be a, a very emotional day, right? Emotional in the sense that uh, uh, the emotions are, are going to be off the roof, okay? Because uh, Scorpio is also associated with... Uh, with... With... Uh, with transformation, growth, okay? That's what Scorpio is all about. So, eclipses, they come in two, okay? So tomorrow we're gonna have a solar eclipse in Scorpio, and in two weeks, we will eventually have a full moon. Well, in this case, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be a full moon, it's gonna be a lunar eclipse in the sign of Taurus, which is the total opposite sign of Scorpio. Like, <laughs> who is behind all this? Oh, the infinite intelligence of the universe, awareness, of course, wealth. The source, God, however you want to call it. <laughs> Mother Nature is alive, where the hell you been? Mother Nature is alive, where the hell you been? You need to step outside so you can feel the wind. Now, that is not all, that is not all because everything, the sun is conjuncting Venus right now, right? And which means that everything that is gonna take place tomorrow, which is, which is gonna be a lot of transformation, is gonna be supported by love, okay? Because Venus is conjuncting the sun, so Venus is gonna be right on the picture, right? So, That is taking place tomorrow, and uh, I'm pretty sure the eclipse is gonna be uh, visible in Europe, okay? in, mostly in Europe. So if you're in Europe and you wanna send me a picture or something to my email, I appreciate it. Uh, besides that, take care of yourself, okay? Appreciate yourself, love, respect, and appreciate yourself because when you love and respect yourself, it's very easy to love and respect other people. When you love and respect yourself, you will realize that everybody is, that, you, that we are all the same, okay? Take care of yourself. Expect major changes to enter your life, okay? Because energy never lies. <laughs> uh, your heart is golden. Your mind is brilliant. And your soul is pure. Peace.